As you know, no two players are alike, and the similarity may be exciting dunks, but they're a different type of players. I can see it, but let's not get ridiculous. You're talking about Michael Jordan. The difference in him is that um, Vince does not have the ball handling ability that MJ had. MJ is often imitated, never duplicated, but he you have to say that he's the next thing close to MJ. That's when you, you, know, you started to hear it, and that's when I think a lot of pressure now is like, I was just like, here we go again. Fifteen years ago, an NBA player's worst nightmare was not merely getting dunked on by Michael Jordan. It was being immortalized in a poster getting dunked on by Michael Jordan. Now the poster has been passed. Air Jordan has turned into Vin Sanity. Vince Carter is one of the greatest players to ever play the game of basketball. He was a highlight reel and had some of the greatest moments in NBA history. The crazy part is that most of his peers felt that he could have been even greater than he was. Enjoy. Vince Carter, right? Yes. Vin, it was just easy. Like, I, I, like, I'm so mad at Vince for what he did to the game. The GOAT debate what should have been him. 100%. I had the ball, running the fast break, Vince Carter was on one end, and Jesus was on the other one. I had to throw it to Vince Carter. He was so naturally gifted than anything you've ever seen. Period. He had everything. There was no, like, he had everything. He dribble, shoot, fade, moves. Footwork, He everything. had everything. If he had this, the mindset like Kobe, like I'm better than everyone and I'm going to show y'all each, there was nobody who was stopping that man. Right. I was with him for four seasons and when I tell you, I have never seen anything like Vince Carter. There was nothing that was stopping Vince Carter. When Vince Carter came in the lane, there was no big man that was willing to challenge it because they didn't want to be on ESPN. Excuse me. That, that, was, that was him. Think about, go, show Toronto. Every time he went back to Toronto, show those stats. Because he didn't like them, they traded. Watch what he did to them every single time. He averaged damn near 40. So you think the trade is what was what, what stopped his uh, hungriness? I just think he was, he was just too nice. It was fun for him. It was too nice. It was fun. It was, it was, he was just nice. Obviously, I think most talented player I've ever played with Kobe, on, uh, played with or against. But I'd say physically God-given talent, Vince has it. But like, Vince, like, man, I seen it and I'm like, Oh, you could have had 50 tonight, bro. You bullshitting out there.